and uh, what, was there anything good to come out of the, the experience of Anthony Fontaine, you know, when basically everybody in Cleveland was down, I was imagining there was a lot of the coaches and screamers, but pull out the games, what did that say about it? We all, we all knew it was coming into the game that we didn't want to touch. Oh, we even did. before tip-off? Yeah, before yeah. tip-off, because uh, we had to be uh, Cincinnati okay. in a while. Uh, they were a real physical team. They was like, I think they were the number one. Yeah. We got the team. Yeah. Like seven, yeah, seven, 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 eight. Yeah, so we had to come in and work hard. Yes. Uh, it was real intense. Nobody really knew that the foul jump would be like it was, but that's just something you have to play through in basketball. So that was just like the cost of doing business against them. I mean, yeah. you guys had to be physical. It had to be physical. A lot of calls didn't go our way, but that's basketball. Um, and then if you don't mind, I wanted to ask you one thing about Odyssey. And I'm trying to ask a question. I don't know what else there is to be said, but is there any story you could tell me or, or moment from practice or trip or even in a game where he's helped you or helped the team in a way that doesn't feel just his, his, his uh, personality, he's a positive guy. And, and when he, he notices that somebody's down on himself, he always keeps them up. So I'm going to keep playing, work through it. And even when he's down, like, I'm a positive person too. When he's not hitting every shot, I tell him to keep shooting. I mean, he just can make shots. So that's what he does. So I feel like our team just, like, we have a good relationship. Our team, everybody's close with each other. We all hang out. So, like, so it's not like you guys look at the next guy taking a minute. Oh, it's not at like, all. Okay, what's your, we were just asking about Kel, uh, what's your uh, thoughts about Old Depot, how he's been playing? Oh, I mean, we're excited to see what he's doing yeah. on the national level. Uh, all of those moves were good players. Yeah. And you know, he was on board like this. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I think. Athletics could do for you. Now. Right. And hard work. Yeah. yeah. He's putting hard work on a lot of work. Yeah. Right. Like, I noticed, like, this, this senior year in high school, like, he was in the weight room every day. He was coming there early to work out, working on the ball handling. Right. Must be. Yeah. Well, I mean, what's your? When you meet him, in a, like when you guys played up in Brooklyn, what was that? What was that like just to, to see him in person? I mean, it was good because I was just knowing, like yeah. even my senior year in high school, when he was just freshman year, and he never came home. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Like, it, it shows that he's down there putting in work on the summer stuff. Right. Summertime instead of coming home and hanging out with his friends. Right. And it's just good. Like I, I'm proud of him. Did you expect Quinn to do what he's doing? Yeah, Quinn was always a big time player. <laughs> he's still not guard now, right? He's scoring. He's scoring. Yeah, always. He's scoring. Always. 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 Always.